again, this is just one. This is just one little bit of this apartment complex, y'all. I have so much more to tell y'all from shootings, from cars getting towed, from rapes. It's turned up in this apartment complex, okay? I hope everyone is doing well. Have you ever lived somewhere where when you when it's time to go home or when you pull up at your home, you are just maybe disgusted, uh, maybe even nauseated or even angry at the thought of going home or going in the house? Well, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> should have stayed my tail in those place apartments y'all I should have but no I moved because I was trying to save just a little bit of money it was it's not even worth it it's not even worth it I feel like I live in a okay a war zone that's too dramatic so <laughs> hate this apartment complex you guys I went from an apartment complex where I would have rated it a 9 out of 10 to an apartment complex where I would rate it a 2 out of 10 so I'm going to split these two videos up because I have two different well I have a lot of different issues but I'm going to put one issue into one video and one and all the other ones into another video because I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long so stay tuned for video two on this that video covers everything else so first I wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about from the point from the time I first moved into this apartment complex up until today and don't forget to subscribe before you go you don't want to miss a thing and um yes you guys I just left the gym and yes this lip lasts all day from 7 o'clock this morning until now 6 18 I've eaten and everything this is the Rimmel this is one of the lips that you well these are the two lips that you guys are always asking me about every single time I wear it it is Rimmel 29 the purplish lip that I have on I normally line it with a wet and wild brown and red and wild wet and wild purple mix it together and I use this lipstick and this is a matte red um, I put a little bit of clear lip gloss on because my lips were they looked a little dry um, but yeah these two the color lasts oh forever and this is Rimmel Kate this is 107 and this is 29 Okay, so you guys, like I said, since from from like the first week I moved into this apartment complex, I've had major issues, like issues that I feel like is grounds for me to move. Like I should have been able to move like months ago. I feel like that there are two types of people that shouldn't stay in an apartment complex, and this is just my opinion. One, people that are, they're easily annoyed by, you know, noise, kids playing, running, things like that. And people that don't realize that your music shouldn't be heard outside of your four walls. Um, those two type of people, in my opinion, should think twice before they move in an apartment complex. Well, me, I'm one of those people <laughs> and I'm on the side of, I get annoyed very easily by noise and I am aware of that. So I do little things to, you know, cover noise or whatever, like, um, um, like a static machine, I use it at night. Well, it's not really a static machine, it's an app. Um, on my Alexa, I use it at night. I just do different things around the apartment so that I don't hear, you know, noise, kids running, screaming, and all that because 
I wouldn't have never moved into this particular apartment complex if I would have known it was three, uh, it was up to three um, rooms in this apartment complex. And the reason being is because normally three bedroom apartment complexes, when they have two and three bedroom apartment complexes, they tend to have a lot of kids, which means a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? That's just being real. That's just my experience of living in like five, six different apartment complexes. I try to stick with like one or two. I, I don't have any issues with kids, but it can get a very, very, very noisy, especially in the summer of time when you have like a ton of kids running around and you just want to nap on a Saturday you know what I mean so this all started the first week I moved into this apartment complex okay okay first thing first weekend I was here it was a Saturday morning and I was woken up it was probably like 9 10 o'clock in the morning and I was woken up by thumping just like you know music playing but it was like you know thumping and the music the thumping it really wasn't the the music you know the voices itself it was the thumping um of the music that was literally rattling the glasses and stuff in my apartment so i was woken up to that and i was just sitting there like who is that is this person serious right now like, and it went on, you guys, for hours, okay? Let me see. I want to say it started about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning and went on until like 2 or 3 o'clock, right? And so this person, it stopped at about 2 or 3 o'clock, right? And then it started up again about an hour later, and then it stopped, and then it started up again and it went on until about eight o'clock, like all day until about eight o'clock, right? Fast forward, come to find out. <laughs> I know this person routine now, which is actually sad. Come to find out the reason the music come on and off like that is because that's when they're leaving the house. Maybe they're running errands and then they come right back home and turn the music on and it just be rattling, y'all. It just be rattling. When I tell, a matter of fact, perfect. I, I have video noise like you can hear it me sitting in my living room one of the videos is me opening my um patio window and you can hear the music you can hear the person oh my god i gotta insert that but let's get to that first okay so that happened like the first weekend here again i didn't know why at first i didn't know why the music was going off and on like that but that happened like the first saturday okay so I don't remember what day this was, but I had put up some boxes on Facebook. Of course, I, I just moved, so I had put some boxes that I had purchased on U-Haul just to kind of recoup my money. I put these boxes up on Facebook to sell. It was like half the price. It was a whole bunch of boxes. And this woman jumped on it real quick, you know what I'm saying? And she hit me up. She was like, um... I'm gonna come and pick them up now, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, this particular day, I was telling her, I'm finna get ready and go, so can you hurry? And she was like, yeah, I'll be there ASAP. So I started gathering the boxes up, putting them in a stack. I put most of the stack by my door, and I went down to my car with a, another stack. By the time I got there, I wanna say, probably about two or three minutes later, she had pulled up, but, I went down with some of the boxes. I set some of the boxes on top of my car and I was just standing there like looking in this direction, like looking straight where the where she would be coming. So I was just standing there. Cars were kind of, um, I would say two cars came in and pulled up like right behind me, like where that mirror is. So the car, as I'm sitting there leaning on my car, the car that's back there where the mirror is, I hear people getting out of the car, right? And then all of a sudden, all I hear is a female say, what the fuck are you looking at, right? So I look at the corner of my eye and I see the dude was looking at me, right? 
So the chick and the dude, they he didn't he didn't say anything to her, but she said it so when, when I tell y'all, she said it so loud, ghetto and ratchet and just belittling. Like my thing, my whole thing about that was I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? If he was checking out another female, you did did you have to do that? Like I didn't even see him looking at me. Like you brought it to my attention that he was checking me out. You know what I'm saying? I obviously had my back initially a turn to them. And then when she said that, I looked at the corner of my eye. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so then I was thinking to myself, woo, ratchet, okay? But I was just still leaning. And where I was sitting at, I can see my apartment, right? So she walks up to the apartment and she is the apartment right under me. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this explains Saturday, okay? <laughs> so after that happened, <laughs> again, I'm still my first couple of days there, right? <laughs> okay, so during the week, every day during the week when I get home from work, even still to now, it's not as bad now. I think maybe she just calmed down a little bit. Maybe she can't afford it as much. I don't really know what it is. But the first, like, when I come into my apartment, especially, like, the first week I was here, you guys, when I walk into my apartment, the smell of marijuana just, poof. It just, like, it was just, like, if I wanted to have company over, there was no way that I could have company over and everybody feel comfortable sitting there. That's how loud the marijuana smell was. It was so loud, y'all, that I honestly thought, you know, my biggest issue, like, y'all know, I've smoked marijuana in the past, don't really care. But what I've never done is smoked in, a, in my apartment or house or anything like that. I've never done that because I don't want, like, my furniture and stuff to smell like it. And I'm telling y'all, <laughs> It was so bad up in here that I, my apartment just smelt like it. And I was just like, this smell is going to soak into my furniture and I'm never going to get, be able to get rid of it. That's how bad it is. Now I would say it probably happens about twice a week. It's not as bad as it was, but yeah, that's how bad it was. Okay. So, later on, the first week I was there, I guess you would say the the second weekend or whatever, but anyway, it was like all in a short time frame. <laughs> so, this was a Friday night. Friday night, I had just got home from work. Uh, well, not just. I want to say at this point it was probably about 7 o'clock, maybe. Um, so I got home. I had to have gotten home around six because at this point, a little after seven, I was buzzed. I remember being buzzed. Um, buzzed meaning like I had a couple of drinks. <laughs> I remember being buzzed and I remember, um, being on my phone and being a part of a bunch of group chats, right? And all of a sudden I just start hearing, um, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I want us to say Mexican music, like that music. Like, I don't know what, um, I hope that I'm not, I hope that I'm using the right terminology, but it was, you know, it was Mexican music and it was literally someone was outside with the loudspeaker with this music. It was like seven o'clock in the evening. And this went on for about an hour. Of course, about 15 minutes into it, I went outside and I, I see that it was a child's party. But still, we're in an apartment complex, right? So the music was so loud, y'all. It was so loud. Like everyone, everyone in the neighborhood heard it. It was so loud. Then, as this person is playing this music, y'all, the chick up under me, I guess she got angry at this and she turns on her music as loud, not as loud because they were outside. I would say probably about 75% as loud as their music. <laughs> 
So literally, y'all, I'm my first week in this apartment complex. And, and I am just, I'm sitting here. At this, oh, at this point, I had a mattress or an air bed bag on the living room floor because my living room set hadn't been delivered yet. So I just sat there on, <laughs> on the floor mattress on the floor and I just remember being half drunk and just thinking about all my life choices and how in the hell did I get in this apartment complex. It was amazing to me. Okay, so here is where the complaining comes in at. So mind y'all, that was the next weekend, right? So that was on a Friday that happened. And then Saturday morning, this chick starts it again. Boom, boom, boom. Then, I couldn't believe it, y'all. I couldn't believe it. I goes out on my patio because I'm thinking maybe it's a car. I goes out on the patio, y'all. This lady has her window up, thumping her music and screaming music at the top of her lungs, okay? <laughs> Every, my, listen to me, listen to me, y'all. When I tell y'all this is, I have been here since May, the, the last week of May, it is December. When I tell y'all this goes on, all, I was three out of four weekends of the month this goes on where she wakes me up either Friday, Saturday or Sunday or Friday. I mean, I'm sorry, it's either Saturday or Sunday or, or Saturday and Sunday. And again, it has become such a habit and a routine that she does this, that I know when this lady leaves and comes in and out of her apartment because she turns the music off and on, off and on, all day long. Okay, so fast forward to the complaints, y'all. So I've been literally complaining since the first week I was here, you guys. I complained to one of the girls at the front desk. I just wanted to kind of bring it to her attention because I don't know if this was, a, at the time, I didn't know if this was an issue, no, you know, I didn't know if this was an issue, um, like the reason the previous person left, were they aware of this, that they put me in this apartment being aware of this, I don't know. So I brought this to the, um, one of the girls at the front desk attention the first week. Come to find out, you know, she was new. She had no idea. She had no idea about anything. So as a couple of weeks went by, at this point, you know, we're probably like a month into this. I've complained to the manager because again, it is, oh, I forgot about Fridays. So Saturdays and Sundays, the music where she's like dancing and screaming and hollering and singing and all this other stuff on Saturdays and Sundays. But on Fridays, on Fridays, from 6 p.m. until like 11, sometime 12 p.m., she is partying, okay? She does this about twice a month. And when I tell y'all, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna insert the videos in here so y'all can hear this. And when I tell y'all I am in my apartment, <laughs> I am in my apartment and one of them is where I have the window crack. This is what y'all hear.
This is this lady almost every single weekend, okay? Almost every single weekend, okay? It's not funny, but it's funny because I can't believe, I cannot believe that I'm paying the amount of money that I'm paying to live in this apartment complex and I cannot sleep when I want to. I cannot read a book when I want to. I cannot film my YouTube videos when I want to. I planned on filming three full videos and two other videos this weekend on Sunday. I planned on doing all of that. This chick music was so loud, y'all. You can hear it in the background of my videos. I, I would have got a copyright strike for my neighbor's music in my video. Ain't that about a pimp? We're about two weeks into this, and I've complained probably about four times at this point to management. So the management of informed me that, you know, in order to go through the eviction process, blah, 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 there are certain things that has to be done. Like they, if, if the person is disturbing the building, disturbing certain people, you have to have like police records of noise complaints and things like that. So they were like, you know, if, if it's that disturbing, you have to have, um, you, you have to call the police. We have to have something. So when we do get ready to evict this person, when we go to the judge, we need to be able to say, okay, we have this and we need to evict this person. At the time, I was so frustrated because I felt like they was pushing this back on me, but I did understand, you know what I'm saying, what they were saying. Now, the manager told me that she was in fact going to get a letter out to her and inform her of the noise complaints and you know what she can do to you know prevent that right so i was on my patio <laughs> trying to hang up some stuff and decorate my patio y'all know that's just like my sanctuary i love i love my patio so i was on my patio and I was on the phone, right? So I heard someone down there come outside and I heard them talking. Well, I was on the phone also and of course they can hear me talking. Then all I hear in the most loud and ratchet it it itness is yeah, somebody complaining about my music. I'm gonna play my music and I don't care and it ain't nothing anybody can do about it. <laughs> I stood there a minute, right? Because honestly, you guys, this person personality is the absolute opposite of me in every single way, in every single way. So when I'm dealing with someone that is just has no tact, just has no, just nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how to talk to people like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of those people that if you're yelling and screaming and doing all of those things at me, I'm going to just fight. Like, I don't, I don't really argue. I don't really argue. Like, I want to fight. You know what I'm saying? And like going back and forth, you might say something that I just, I'm gonna wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't really argue. So I was, I, when, when she said this, I stood there for a minute and then someone was at the door. And so it was UPS. So I was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Was that like on time or not? Nah? Because I was gonna start, you know, I, I don't know what I was gonna do. I don't know what I was gonna say. I don't really know. I, <laughs> I want, I know that I was probably going to say something. Um, and then we probably would have been fighting. I probably would have walked down there and knocked on her door. You know, I don't know, but I, I 
don't know what would have happened if I would, I don't know. Okay, so that happened, right? Now, mind y'all, see, I know this video is already like 15, 20 minutes long, and I have a whole bunch of other stuff that didn't happen in this neighborhood to tell y'all about. That's why I had to split these videos. Okay, so I want to say this happened about two months ago now. So the music started, it was a Friday night. I don't know, I remember being tired as hell. And I remember being in the bed at like seven o'clock, okay? But the music started at six o'clock and I was hoping, I was hoping that the music stopped, you know, in about an hour, but it didn't. The music got louder and I couldn't believe it. So at this point, it was probably about nine o'clock. It was raining outside. And the music was loud. I heard people singing and just screaming and laughing. And I'm just like, I cannot be out of the 12 to 24 people in this building. I cannot be the only one that's complaining about this, that have an issue with this. So I called the courtesy officer. This was the first time I called the courtesy officer and I told her what was going on. She was like, okay, I'll come around there. She came around here. I heard her knock on the door like she was bamming on the door because the music was so loud. And then I heard, and then I heard someone say, who is it? And then she was like, the courtesy officer. And then she was like, turn down your music. You know what I'm saying? And then she left. It took like 30 seconds. Then she left. When I tell y'all within 59 seconds of that courtesy officer leaving, she turned that music right back up. The courtesy officer called me and she was like, um, yes, Miss blah, 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 I just came by and I asked her to turn the music down. I was like, I know I heard you. And as soon as you pulled off, she turned it right back up. And she was like, are you serious? And I'm like, yes. And she was like, okay, well, I guess I'll come back around there and I'm going to call um, the non-emergency line and have them come ticket her. I was like, okay. So, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with the non-emergency line, but calling the non-emergency line, the police never show up. It's, it's kind of pointless. Like... This courtesy officer literally sat outside this apartment complex for like an hour and a half to two hours. I saw her like when she pulled in and when she was sitting there and I came and checked. You know what I'm saying? Did the police come? Because the music was still going on. Did the police come? What? She sat out there for like an hour and a half to two hours, okay? After the courtesy officer left, this music went on until after 11.30. And it was just like, I was just laying there and I was just like, this is amazing to me. And there's absolutely nothing that I can do about this crazy situation. There's nothing. I am in my, my apartment that I pay rent in and I can't sleep. I can't read a book. I can't watch TV. Y'all, the music drowns out my television. It drowns it out. Y'all yeah, hear me? Okay. So moving forward, moving forward. Oh my God, I got two other things to tell y'all. Let me, oh, let me, let me try to hurry up. Okay. So moving forward, um, two weeks later, she, I guess she had another party or she had some friends over the same exact thing. Music blasting, shaking apart, shaking stuff in my apartment. It's just crazy hearing people screaming and laughing and just hours of this. I can't watch TV. I can't do anything. All that I can technically do is just sit there and listen to it because it drowns out everything, okay? So that was the, the last party. This was the most recent party and I'm tired of it. I'm sick and I am tired of it at this point. And that Monday when management was there, I went to the office and I told them I'm tired of it. I don't know what, what y'all gonna do, but I'm tired of it. I'm not, 
it's at this point for me, it's about breaking this lease and fighting y'all in court for whatever money. That is the main reason why I'm here because I already planned on leaving this apartment complex anyway because my job is moving, so I have to move. So I was planning on moving anyway months now, but I might have to move sooner than I wanted to, sooner than, um, cause I only signed 11 month lease, y'all. I'm so happy about that. I only signed an 11 month lease. So my lease is up in April. And I'm just like, I might have to move like in February if this doesn't stop. If I lose more sleep, you guys, I am just going to have to say, screw this. And I'm gonna fight y'all in court about this, okay? Again. This is just one, this is just one little bit of this apartment complex, y'all. I have so much more to tell y'all from shootings, from cars getting towed, from rapes. It's turned up in this apartment complex, okay? Okay. So, um, one of the last things I want to tell y'all, I forgot about this. This happened a couple of weeks ago. Mind y'all, even though all these months I've lived above her, she lived under me. I never, we never really like pass each other. I only see her when I'm on my patio, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever. And I might see her walk up to her apartment. That's the only way I knew how she looked. But other than that, I had no idea, you know what I'm saying? Oh, of course, when, um, she said what she said, at, but you get, you guys get what I'm saying, um, other than that, I don't, I didn't see her. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see her. So I knew that outside of when she saw me like the first, first time when I was standing by my car, after all the complaints and all the stuff that's been going on, I knew whenever she saw me, she was going to try to confront me. I knew it was going to happen. So this was on a Saturday. I was coming home from the Dollar Tree, I remember, because I went out to give me some snacks. So it was just like a day in and I was just tired and I just didn't want to do anything. So I went out to get some snacks and as I was coming back up to my apartment I heard her door open and there was a guy leaving out of her apartment and I was thinking to myself today is that day I knew she was gonna say something to me and so she's watching this person walk down the stairs and I'm walking up the stairs and as I'm walking up the stairs she's gonna say excuse me can I have um can I talk to you for a moment and I just looked at her I just looked at her ass and then she started talking and she gonna say um, and I really, honestly, you guys, I really didn't let her get much in at all. So pretty much the gist of what she said was, she was like, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you because I heard from, um, miss, you know, the lady in the office, miss, what's her name that you've been complaining about my music. And I just, and when she said that, I said, I've absolutely been complaining about your music. Your music shakes my whole apartment. I work. I work 8 to 12 hours every single day. I be tired. And on the weekends, I want to do what I want to do in my apartment. In my apartment, that includes sleeping. And your music prevents me from doing that. And then she's going to say, um, well, I work too. Just imagine like somebody just like, I don't know, but just imagine her talking. <laughs> She's like, I work too, and um, I don't play music that much, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it, I told her, it's not about you playing music that much. It's about the fact that you would play music Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and everyone in the whole building can hear it, right? I told her, I'm like, I can't sleep. I can't read a book. I can't do anything in my apartment. I'm like, I pay. And I told her what I paid. I was like, I pay such and such to live here. And I should be able to do what I want to do in my apartment when I want to and not be disturbed by other people that's in their apartment complex. And I don't think that's, I don't think that that's um, unreasonable to ask any neighbor, right? Do y'all know what this girl gonna say, say to me? Well, I'm gonna play my music. 
And I looked at her, and she started walking in her apartment, and I started walking up the stairs. We basically was, leave, you know, departing at the same time. And I just said, why in the fuck would you even say something to me if you come to the same damn conclusion? And I just went into my apartment. So pretty much, y'all, that is the type of person that I live above. That is the type of foolishness that I have to deal with on any given day, but especially on the weekends. So, of course, at this point, y'all, I have, I, I left a lot of stuff out. A lot of different things happen. I'm sure you guys know, like, I've went to the apartment complex. They've already sent her letters from, like, the lawyers. They've the, the office told me that her lease is up February 1. They will not be re-signing it. Um, they said that um, they will send her a letter out informing her they won't be re-signing her lease. Um, they stated that if it gets the music gets too bad, they will try to do an early eviction. Um, you know, things like that. Things like that. Now, where I, where I am with this is I truly believe that they're not going to re-sign her lease because it's not just me. Of course, again, I left a whole bunch of stuff out, but I did find out that several people in the building has been complaining just like me. And not only that, they wasn't going to re-sign her lease because of how she talks to them. So come to find out when she goes up into the office, she screams at them pretty much how she was talking when she was on the, on the patio um she screams at them <laughs> the lady told me this girl is all she wasn't supposed to tell me this but she told me the girl is late on her rent almost every single month and she and she was like yeah i have to send her an email telling her to pay her rent or i'm gonna send her through eviction and she say the girl comes in there and throws her rent check at her and say here's your fucking money she said this happens every single month and i'm like this and i asked the lady the lady in the office i'm like this girl has been here uh, over three years someone else told me that she has been here over three years how and why have y'all been allowing this person to talk to y'all like that why how when and then she was just like you know we're just not signing her lease and re-signing her lease anymore I'm just like, my thing is, it's like this apartment complex, you guys, the reason I came here is because it's reasonably priced and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a very, very upkept, it's, it's very upkept, nice apartment complex with very, very good amenities. But... You know what? I'm going to stop that video. I'm going to stop this video here. And we're going to be continue. And I'm going to tell y'all all the rest of all the other stuff that's been going on <laughs> in this neighborhood that I'm in. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, that's kind of where I'm at. I did. I could have broken this lease way sooner. You guys, I could have technically, but no matter how, no matter what people believe, I'm not balling. You know what I'm saying? I don't have money. Like, I spent hundreds of dollars to move into this apartment, you know, including rent, deposit, and all of that. Thousands. I spent over $2,000 to move here. You know what I'm saying? Including rent and moving and hiring people and trucks and boxes and all of that other stuff. So, of course, you know, I did not have more. Like, they offered me another apartment after I moved in and after I've been complaining. But, of course, I had to pay someone to move me into another apartment, okay? I paid $600 to move into this one. So, you really think that I was going to turn right back around the following month and pay another $600 to move into another apartment in the same apartment complex that I'm complaining about that you guys aren't doing anything to fix the problem? Are you joking me? 
even when my lease is up, I wouldn't move until until another apartment in the same complex. Are you joking me? I would be a fool, a goddamn fool to do that. And of course, that's what I told her. <laughs> I would be a goddamn fool to do that. I have been feeling this video so long. Oh my goodness. Okay. I let me go. Okay. Okay. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be continue. I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next one.